Oh, hey guys. I actually have something very important to show you real quick. Let me grab it. Ah! I might. Did I bloody scare ya? My boys and gals, how are we doing today? We're back with another Bax banger. Yeah, we have some good things lined up today. First, let's say bye to my mom real quick. Everyone say goodbye to my mom, though. She has to leave. You need to um give them a da their daily motivational quote. Just anything to get them sparked and motivated for the day. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Dwayne. Dwayne who? <laughs> Today should be a fun one, fellas. Today I'm gonna run you guys through one of my push workouts if you guys don't know what push is. It's pretty much chest, shoulders, and triceps, except I'm a little wonky and I do biceps instead of triceps. If you guys can hear in my voice, I'm kind of getting over a little bit of a cold or whatever I had. It was messing me up, bro. I was feeling like garbage in the gym. Two days ago, I had leg day. I was dying. I was literally dying. But luckily we pushed through and we finished the leg day and now it's getting a little bit better. So hopefully this gym session doesn't go too bad. But we'll have to see. After we get home from the gym, though, we are going to be making a gas meal prep. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't meal prep a lot, and I haven't made it before, but it sounds gas, and I can't wait to try it. And we're going to try it together and see how it comes out. We're going to be making meal prep freezer burritos. Uh, okay, freezer burritos don't really sound too good, but they're pretty much just meal prep burritos that you can put in the freezer, and they last for, like, mad long, like, months. Forget all this trash meal prep that have you seen. I'll catch you guys when we're about to leave for the gym. It's about to be a good one, baby. Let's get it. We're making up the pre-workout right now. We're rocking the Anaka Power Pump and Pre. I believe all flavors of this are back in stock if you guys want to cop any. And as you guys know, code BACKS gets you 10% off. I ran out of watermelon, now I'm using mango. As you guys know, watermelon's the best flavor, hands down, no debate. We have our pre mixed up. On a side note though, if you guys don't put ice in your pre-workout, you're a villain. I don't know how you drink pre without ice because iced out pre is the only pre and I live by that. We're about to head to the gym, we're about to get right. I forgot to mention though, I'm actually going to the gym with Barack Obama. It's Barack, his whole playlist. Young boy. Scroll through. Young boy. Next one. Next one. Young boy. <laughs> we need to get you a new playlist, man. We're going to the gym, baby! We're in the gym. We're in the gym, babe. Me and Barack already did a couple sets of kissing. Starting off with the Smith Machine shoulder press. Today is the shoulder focus push day. Composed of two shoulders, two chest, and then two bi. I'm bi. Yo, I give you all this motivation. You don't want to give me any. You got that beat right here. What about if I drop it on my neck? The name of the game is intensity. If you don't have intensity, you're not growing. Why not get it? Get it. <laughs> I'm staying hydrated today. Bro, I've been forget okay. I've been forgetting to drink water during our workouts. Barack has been making fun of me. This man, this is his like sixth time in the gym. And he's like, bro, you do not hydrate enough. I'm sitting here forgetting to drink. I like to start off with the heaviest movement. Just when you have all your energy, get your heavier movements out of the way so you can give your all into them. Like I'm gonna give my all into Barack. This is his like sixth time in the gym. We're getting him right. He's on the grind with me now. Mm-hmm. You got more? Come on. Drive. One more. Drive. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I do shoulder press for around three sets, like eight to 12 reps. And then we wind to the incline dumbbell press, one of my favorites. We just grab some dumbbells, lower the incline a bit, and boom, we're hitting it like professionals. This one's really gonna build that upper chest, that upper tata. Once again, you gotta be intense. <sighs> 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 <laughs> For a lot of these movements that we're actually doing, you don't have to do the exact ones we are. Like if you wanna, like if you don't like dumbbell incline bench press, just do it on the Smith machine or with a barbell. It really comes down to preference at that point. There's different variations for every single exercise. Y'all just need to find the one that you like the best and then you'll be as big as Barack. Whoa, 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 you're gonna blow out your shoulder. Tuck those elbows in. Yes, sir. Touch those biceps together. Yes, sir, just like that. Biceps together, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it's looking clean. You're gonna be a pro in five weeks. <laughs> yo, I just got a text. Wait, they said call me, wait. Yo, yo, bro, it's the small police. They wanna talk to you. <laughs> For most of these, I'm running three sets. For these, I'm doing eight to 12. I'm gonna need some motivation once again. <laughs> these dumbbell presses are feeling good. We're on to the chest flies, fellas. Barack already started. We hit the shoulders, hit the upper chest. Now we're banging out middle chest. Oh, sorry about that. You scared me, bro. Come on. Feel the squeeze. Feel that squeeze, big boy. Okay, no, he didn't say that. You guys really want to focus on the contraction for these, really feeling it. Keep those shoulders pinned back. Don't be rolling your shoulders forward like Barack. 
You know this is where you know this is where you talk through. You're talking through the camera. Yo, yo, yo you're an idiot. Yo. yo, I need a better trainer. Call the number on the screen now. This one I'm going for 10 to 15. Three sets as usual. Let's get it. Come on, come on bro. Come on, come on. Come on. <clears throat> Once again, if you guys don't like these, you can use cables. All right, yo. Yo, your mid chest is done, upper chest is done, some of the shoulder is done. Now we have lateral raises. All right, guys, now we're on the glizzy curl. The rock will actually demonstrate. Start with a five and what do you do? I'm not sure if it's appropriate. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey. Nah, but we're on the lateral raises. I usually do lateral raises on a machine, but it's taken by a grandpa, so I'll, I'll give him his respect. The secret to these, don't do heavy weight. You gotta feel it out. Get it good like this, stay nice and strict. Literally using 15s, I just did 20 reps. For these, you can do 10 to 15, you can do 15 to 20. I'm doing 15 to 20 right now. Don't use momentum, just go like this. Yeah, you should feel it right here. Slow and controlled. Yo, my shoulders are already killing. All right, I think it's time, Barack. Set number two with the pump cover off so I get extra strength. Now, we're doing the push day bicep. Never heard of that one. Hey guys, me and Baxter Hogsley here, man. Hey guys, so welcome to my new YouTube channel. Uh, today we're doing um, pre-show curls in the 10 to 15 rep range. Three sets, let's see how they feel. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Focus up, Bax. We got two bicep movements. We got preacher curls. We got hammer curls now too. Three sets, 10, 15 reps. Move on to hammer curls and then we're out of here. All right, last movement and then this workout is toast. I call this one the double stroker. Come on, big dog. Stroke. Stroke. One more. Another. Another. We want failure. <laughs> now, once again, if you guys don't like this on the cable, you can do it on a dumbbell. You can do it on a, on a grandma. You can do it on anything, really. I'm going to eat a good meal after this. Are you? Yeah. Are you? I used to beat him up in school. No, it was actually crazy. Yo, he got bullied by some kid, and he had to buy him a bag of chips for the rest of the year. That just didn't the happen. The rest of the school year. That just didn't happen. Okay, no. This is what happened. Okay, first of all, dude, he was 18 in ninth grade. First of all. He better not see this. Wait till he gets out of jail. What if he gets out of jail? <laughs> okay, first of all, the dude's in jail now. My boy, Robert. I don't have anything against Robert, but he's in jail, and I challenged him to an arm wrestling match. First of all, I was 14 and he was 18. So I don't know why I did that. Then I was like, I'll buy you a bag of chips for the rest of the year every single day if you beat me. And then he beat me. And then I had to buy him chips for the rest of the year. Why I did that, I couldn't tell you. Last set, best set. Come on. And that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> yes, sir! And that's a good At way to end the workout. All right, we're ending the workout there, fellas. It was a good one. This is goodbye to Barack. First and last video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's more to come from Barack, but hey, we'll catch you at the crib. All right, bro. Yo, you yo, you ready to make out, bro? Yeah, bro. You're, let's yeah. go. All right, let's go back to it. Let's Wait, go. it's not off. Bro, <laughs> come on. Uh, we're back at the crib. As I said, the plan is we're gonna make the best meal prep you've ever seen. Maybe. I don't know. I've never made it myself. So what we're using for the tacos today, obviously we got our tortillas. I always get these extreme wellness wraps. They're from, uh, I think I got them at Walmart. 50 calories per tortilla. That's a cheat code. Our meat of choice, we're going extra lean ground beef. We have some, this is 93, but you can get 96% lean ground beef. If you want to keep the calories low, get the leanest ground beef you can. It tastes literally the same, dog. And for stuff to go in it, we got an onion. You guys can feel free to add some more fruits and vegetables, or not, <laughs> not fruits. It's that kind of add whatever veggies you find fit. They're literally like negative calories. I'm just using an onion. You could throw in peppers and onions if you want. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever whatever gets your toes curling. I don't know. To make your meat taste good, we got some taco seasoning. This stuff is fire. You can get this at like Walmart. It's 15 calories. There's like a Taco Bell version that tastes like the Taco Bell mild sauce. I got mine spicy because I love when the meat makes my mouth drool. I'm using reduced fat cheese. You can use fat free cheese too to cut the calories down even lower. And now all it takes is to weigh out the amount of ingredients you want. When you're trying to meal prep, your best friend is gonna be a food scale. I'm gonna turn the pan on to like medium high. Take out your zero cal spray. Yeah. And now you just measure out the total amount of meat you want. So I'm just gonna make two servings, so it's gonna be eight ounces, four ounces per taco. Put the meat on the scale. I'm gonna wash my hands first. I don't wanna handle my meat with dirty hands. Now, since I want eight ounces, have the meat on the scale, zero the scale, take out your meat. That's four ounces right there. We want eight ounces, boom. I'm making two, and I'll show you guys how to split it evenly when we're done. Use my $2 knife, I got the dollar store. Now we got our onion, now we just let the beef sit in there for a little bit. I'm just gonna break up the beef like I got so. You just wanna let it cook until it's like browning. Now that it's mostly brown, we'll start throwing in the onions. All right, after they are cooked up a little bit, we'll put in our water and we'll put in our seasoning packet. We'll throw in just a tad bit of water. Oh, 
Oh, I just got a whiff of that. That is spicy. Drizzle that in a little bit. Now, add your cheese in. Look at this. Look at that. And now, we just split it evenly. How do you split it up evenly? Put the empty bowl on the scale and then load everything into your bowl. You could do it in grams, you could do it in ounces, whatever. And then you just split that number that you get on the scale up into however many you want. So if you got like, say you got like 100 grams, everything weighs 100 grams. If you wanted four servings, every serving would be 25 grams. So just take out, take out 25 grams, put it on the tortilla, yada, yada, yada. Since I only have two servings in here, it's gonna be a little bit easier because I'm just gonna split it in half. So we pretty much just get our taco and load our meat in. There it is. And now the final step you just wrap it and boom it's wrapped now you have yourself these freezer burritos you can literally wrap this in aluminum foil put it in a freezer bag put it in the freezer and i'm pretty sure it lasts like months dog like months i'll give you guys the exact macros for the ones that i made if i were to eat both of them it would be 510 calories and 64 grams of protein once again you can cut down the calories even lower if you got like 96 percent lean ground beef and if you use fat-free cheese i've heard these reheat pretty well as well so let's give them a test Mmm, these are gas. Don't sleep on the meal prep burritos, bro. That was your meal prep guide with backs. Valid or no? Bah. I'm literally sitting in my house sweating. It is so hot in New York right now. And by hot, I mean it's in the 70s, and that's hot. But we had a pretty good day today, fellas. We hit the gym with Barack Obama. I showed you how I like my meat. Now, nah, but seriously, you guys do need to try that meal prep. If you guys do struggle with eating and stuff like that, try out meal prepping, dog. If you're always someone that struggles with going out to eat or like too lazy to cook or whatever, try setting a day out of the week, meal prepping for like four or five days out of the week. Boom, you have meals to quick, heat up, eat, and then boom, you're eating good and you're eating healthy and you're staying with your goals. But hey, and those burritos taste gas. I'm not even gassing it up. I'm not a rapper. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Next week, we'll be back with another Backs Banger. Hopefully, big things are coming up. I appreciate your guys' support on the videos and everything as per usual. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'll give you a goodbye kiss. We just do be out, baby.